Hi everyone, it's Susan, your antique dealer on the go here, and today we are in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania at the Farmer's Vault Auction House. So if you find yourself in this part of Pennsylvania, somewhere in between, uh, if you're anywhere near Reading, if you're anywhere near Allentown, if you're anywhere near Lancaster, you should probably take the little drive and come out to Farmer's Vault. I'm meeting some of the ladies from the group here today, and I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour and show you what Farmer's Law Auction is like. I've been coming here for years. It's a great auction house. It's every Tuesday and it is always loaded, loaded with stuff. Literally jam-packed. Inside and out, there are three auctioneers that will be going at once today. So I'm going to give you a little tour. I think things are going to kick off in about five minutes. So this will give you an idea about uh, those of us that live in Pennsylvania, why we have so much stuff. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the outdoor portion. All right. Here's the auction house building with the sign, Farmer's Auction. And this is part of the outdoor portion. We'll walk to the other side. So you see they have a large outdoor portion and uh, kind of looking a little rainy today, so hopefully that's not going to under the outside. Believe me, I've been a seller on the end of having my stuff outside when it's raining out here, and it's never a good thing. So here's part of the outside. I can hear the auctioneer going already in the morning, so it must already be 10. But they start off with baked goods from a bakery. They old baked goods, so uh, I'm going to skip those. We'll walk over here quickly. And we'll show you the outdoor portion. Sorry. I gotta learn how to pause this thing. If I could learn how to pause, we'd be good. But here's the outdoor portion. As you see again, it's big. There's the auctioneer up in his lift car. And this is everything that he's gonna do outside. Usually the outdoor stuff a little more rustic, a little more primitive, and big. People drop off their big things outside, but there is a whole indoor portion for furniture. This is just the outside. As you can see, lots of stuff. Anything for the outside. We'll tell you what we know about the items, but we don't know a lot. We don't know to you as is unless we state know what. So, I'm not kidding. The outdoor is huge today. Seriously. It used to be half this. Now it's double the size. Furniture, bicycles, lawn equipment, garden furniture, garden planners. Big metal bins. Old bicycles. Those look like manhole covers to me. I don't know what those are. Here's a kiln. Alright. So I think you get the idea of what happens outside here. Then, we'll flip around. It's fun to watch them and listen. You want to go listen for a little bit? Each auctioneer here down at Farmersville also has their own way of auctioning. I mean, one of the guys practically lulls me to sleep when he speaks. Thank you. 
Hold the table. Twenty, twenty, ten. Ten, ten, five. 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 Ten, ten, Four fifteen, fifty-seven. Yeah, you've got six laps, noodles, a cookie jar, Mickey Mouse. Twenty-five, 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 twenty-five. Noodles, a cookie jar, and Mickey Mouse. Two, 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 three, two, two, three, 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 three,
table and hold it in the air and they bid on things individually. And then if no one else wants anything else on the table, then sometimes they do sell the remainder of the table. You know, everything you see here, they'll put it up, they'll bring this crock up front, they'll sell it individually. They'll bring this cooler up front, sell it individually, they'll bring that can up. So it's all sold individually. They will bring like say the trade lot of elephants. So the whole trade lot. They'll bring this whole big box lot of whatever's in there and they'll sell that all at one time, which you know it's probably worth looking in. It's like a bunch of broken It's like a box of broken shit. Beacon blanket. It's either a Hudson Bay or a Beacon. I don't know. Here we go. Nope, it's called Golden Dawn. Yeah, I was out. You were in. Yeah. And I think he even gave you a bargain. I think you were at like 27 or something. Yeah. She's grumpy. So anyway, here's the rest of the room.
See, this is the furniture room. So, just when you think there wasn't enough stuff in all the other rooms, then you hit the furniture room. So, you see, it's a big auction house. The furniture starts in the evening. Later on today, I forget. I think the furniture is at 6 p.m. at night. I don't even recall. But there's tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Yeah, and then that's the outside again. So that was your tour of the Farmersville auction. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed your tour of the Farmersville auction house. This is uh, your host, Susan Backer, and I'm going to sign off and go into the other room and see if I can't do some damage. Thanks for joining me. Wish me luck. I'll see you later. Bye.